Hello everyone, my name is DevTech, and um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the in-home streaming um, from Steam. So, um, turn on your Steam accounts, and let's get this party started. Okay, um, let's go into Steam, first of all, and uh, make sure you have the latest client. Um, if not, make sure you get it. Make sure you go into settings, account, you want to go into beta participation and make sure the Steam beta update is on. I don't know if it is still required since it's been kind of released, but still kind of buggy. So make sure you do that. Restart your Steam account and make sure you check for Steam client updates again, just to make sure that you have everything up to date. Okay. Now, as you can see for me, the play button here is play and now this little thingy has shown up it's because I'm already connected to another computer okay here's the first thing if you want to do this you need two computers you need one steam account and you need to run it on both of them at the same time okay so you need to run your steam account on both computers at the same time once you've got that both running you wanna go into settings check the in-home streaming okay if it says connected um, with the other computer, then you're all good for most purpose and intents of this video. Um, if not, make sure enable streaming is enabled on both computers. And you want to go into these options. Now, if you have a new computer or a recent computer, enable hardware encoding since you should be able to do it unless you have an office computer. Uh, and not a gaming computer, then you probably want to turn it off because you won't be able to do it. Um, prioritize network traffic. If you have a newer router, if you have a new router or, a, well, high-end router, then turn that on. Else you won't have quality control and you probably won't be able to do it, so it doesn't really matter. You can leave it on if you want. Um, limit bandwidth. You may be tempted to put it on unlimited or whatever your bandwidth limit is. Do not. Just don't. Leave it on automatic. It'll take care of it for you. Trust me on this. Because putting it on unlimited will often cause more issues. Or putting it on one of these will cause more issues than it's worth. Leave it on automatic. Limit resolution. Now you have to remember two things, okay? The entire thing is going to go through the Ethernet cable. Okay, the higher resolution and the higher quality of the stream the more data has to be sent through, which means the slower the connection is going to be, regardless, okay? So for me, 720p seems to be the ideal solution. If you don't have a computer that supports that format, then just use whatever format is good for you. Uh, if you have a better computer, I know you'll be tempted, but just use 720p. Anything higher than 720p will just bog down your network. So. Don't even bother. Just leave it 720p. Um, you want to enable hardware decoding. Again, if you have a recent computer, turn that shit on. Uh, display performance information. That is only for people who want to see it. It's like a little bar on the bottom left that will show you performance. And you can press F6 to uh, show an entire graph with a whole bunch of data. So if you like that, you can put it on, else you don't. You want to do both of these options and all these settings on both computers. Right. Once you've done that, if once you've done that, right, to just do the streaming, because I'm first going to go for um, what it is for a normal person, and then I'll troubleshoot it errors and stuff. Okay. So now, if you want to play a game, okay, say a game is installed on this computer. For this instance, the ins the game is installed on both computers. I could play, or I could stream from another machine. Okay, so what I'm going to show you guys is what the stream looks like if you stream from another PC. Um, if you stream from your own PC, you will not actually see a difference, so there's no point to it, okay? So, um, I'll just stream a game real quick that I don't have installed. Um, well, that I don't have installed here. Okay, we can play this. I'll turn this on. And you guys are going to notice something on my computer, on the one I'm recording on right here. Um, if I go down to that game, I, I turn on this. Um, now you can see a difference between a normal game and the game that I'm playing on the other computer. Is By default, if you're playing it on the other computer, 
it'll say stream by default instead of play. Okay, you can still play by play by clicking on a little uh, triangle there and going to play on this machine. But on default, it will be changed to stream. Okay, so click stream. Boom. Ta-da. Suddenly pop up and you can see the other computer and what it's doing. Okay, so let's... Uh, as you can see, I can move the mouse and everything, and we can click and, and play things, and poof. So this is the other game. So that is the other game. This is the installer, and I just closed it. So that's what it looks like for you, okay? If you want to take a look at that in closer detail feel free to pause the video back there um, now for troubleshooting okay I'm just gonna go past a couple of issues that people have been reported over and over and over again to have and they just don't get it okay so I'm, I'm first I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of pointers to avoid even having these problems to begin with okay first off connectivity you have to realize, once again, like I said earlier, the quality of the stream depends on the computer that is running it. If it has a shitty quality, the other computer is going to show you sh shitty quality anyway. But the, the, the size, the resolution of the game, the quality, the amount of movement will all translate into an amount of traffic that has to go through the cable or if you're using wireless, over your wireless. Now, wireless can have a lot of interference, like phone signals and whatnot. They will cause lost packets, which can translate into little, a little bit choppiness on the other end. Now, for wireless, mostly you don't really want to be doing this over wireless unless you have to or unless you really don't care. But um, wireless is rather best avoided unless really necessary. Um, if you can... It's preferred for you to use an Ethernet cable and plug it in directly into the other computer, which can mean two things. One, the computer that's plugged into the other computer will be deriving its Internet from that other computer. So you should have Internet if you do it correctly. Anyway, um, this can be done by making a little network between the two computers, um, kind of like a home network from uh, the older days. Um, and having a direct connection will maximize the the amount of stuff you can do between the two computers, the quality and everything will be maximized, okay? Um, that is the best way to go about it. If you really, really want to make sure that it should work. If it doesn't work point blank, one computer into the other one, then there is a very simple thing that's blocking you. It's called a firewall. Turn them both off. Both Windows firewalls and both computers, turn them off, should work fine. If that doesn't work, antivirus. Look at your antivirus, check if it has a firewall. If it has a firewall, turn it off. Or at least make an exception so that you can have the traffic between the two computers work. Now the port, the port that you want to open are the default Steam ports, 27015 to 27... Uh, 27036. Those are the default Steam ports that you want to have open regardless, okay? Those are mainly server port, connection port, query port for Steam games and whatever, whatnot. Okay? So make sure those things are completely open. Um, now troubleshooting issues. If you're going to have some issues then they'll probably be the following. The issues you may have are, A, it doesn't automatically connect between two computers. Um, B, um, you see the other computer, but uh, clicking on any of the connect stuff won't connect them. Or it'll give an issue saying that it can't connect with the other one. Um, the third issue will probably be you can see them, you can connect, but you, you you can have it say connected between the two computers, but one computer cannot actually manage to connect to the other one, okay? Now for the first issue, I don't even remember what the first issue was. That's how, how tired I am of all this. I've been doing this over and over and over again. But um, uh, as a pointer, um, for... 
the issue where you where it says not connected, which I think the first one was, um, for not connected, right? It says not connected. Simple fix if it says not connected on the two is you want to do this. What I'm going to do now is you go on the big picture mode, right? And you go into this little cog settings in home streaming. You wait until this does twice. And you'll see this. For me, it says connected, but if it says not connected, double click it and it shall try to connect. If it doesn't work, go to the other computer and try it from there. As soon as the connection is linked, you should be fine. Which brings me to the next issue. Is if it says um, if it says it's connected and you try to stream from one computer to the other and it won't work, but it will work in one way but not the other way. Firewall. I'm telling you right now, one of the firewalls is still operational. Turn it off. Firewall from the one computer, the other computer, or antivirus software on those computers. There's something that is blocking it, OK? Make sure you either make exceptions in your firewalls for those ports that I told you earlier, uh, which will also be in the description below. And make sure those are open, OK, for both TCP and UDP. Make sure they're open else you're going to get these issues. Now, for other people who go into library and they pick a game and they try to click play or stream and it says it can't connect to the other device, again, firewalls. Turn them off. It can't be more simple than that. Okay? Now, there are some extreme cases where I've seen viruses interfere with Steam's connectivity. So if your firewalls for some demonic evil purpose or influence aren't working and it's still not connecting, make sure that your antivirus does not have a firewall and if that isn't it, sweep your computer with any, well, any trusted antivirus software that you can think of because you have a virus, it's likely something along those lines okay and basically you should be able to connect and play now in case those don't work like I said plug the first computer into the second computer not much can go wrong unless you have a firewall blocking it it should be direct connection and even without internet the direct connection method would allow two offline steam uh, systems to connect to each other even if your Steam is offline, you should be able to connect to each other, okay? That's just how simple it is. So if that doesn't work, then there is something on your computer that is just basically completely fucking up. And I would recommend reinstalling your computer because there's something fucking up your stuff, okay? Anyway, I will leave you guys with that. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have an issue that is not addressed in this video, please put it in the comments, and I will try my best to help you fix it. Okay, I will try my best to put in a fix for it. And if a fix is found for it by me or somebody else, by Davy Jones, I will make a new video, and I will append it to this video. Well, not append it, but I will make a video response to my own video to point out what the issue is, okay? Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!